my name is Danielle. You can call me Danielle's Vision or you can call me Danielle. Or you can act like anyone who's ever taken me out on a date and not call me at all. <laughs> Good. That one was comedy gold. Well, hang on. You know Danielle was Vision? As Dennis Reynolds so wisely said, dreams. I hate listening to people's dreams. It's like flipping through a stack of photographs. If I'm not in any of them, nobody's having sex. I just, I, I don't... But I would refute that and say, I don't care regardless. When people start telling me about a dream they had, it's like, oh god, how long is this gonna go on? That's how I feel! It's like, it didn't happen, you didn't even actively imagining it, imagine it, imagining, you didn't even actively imagine it happen, name. It's not like you were like, I have this great idea, or I have this vision, or I have this thought. It's like, listen to this dream I had last night. It's also like an excuse for people to be able to say anything <laughs> graphic, because more often than not, it involves something explicit. When people say, I had a dream about you. It's like, oh God, I don't want to hear something that you dreamed happened with me. That's never going to happen with me. And it's like, what do you want me to say in that situation? Like, okay. Nice. How was it though? I feel like it's an excuse for people to say anything they want regardless if it happened or not, but even if it did happen and you did dream it, you know how like a lot of times people are like, no, no, I really, really dream this because people so often lie about their dreams that they're like, no, but really, I had a dream that you ran away from home. And it's like, okay, I believe you, but like, I don't care. It doesn't mean anything. You dreamed it. You didn't, I don't know. People act like dreams are like dreams, not as in, you know, dreaming of your future. That's the is gonna be like I don't care about your dreams and then people are gonna be like but I want to be a pop star you can be so we were at this swamp but like the water wasn't really water you know it was kind of like dirt and animals but it was fluid okay if you really think it was that interesting honestly write a story make a <laughs> fan fiction but like I really don't care and you were there except you had Marla's voice which was really weird but I still knew it was you even though when I heard you talking it sounded like Marla I could recognize that it was you but here's a good way if you really had a dream oh my god last night I had a dream I owned a million kittens that's cute last night I had a dream that I, well, I didn't own the kittens, but like they would all come around my house like every single day and I wouldn't even feed them, but just somehow they always got fed. But like I didn't worry about it because I knew that they were always gonna take care of themselves, you know what I mean? But yet they still looked at me as like a protector. So we had like a really weird dynamic, but it was still a super strong bond. And like I felt it and I recognized it. And it wasn't even like a familiarity. I had real true love for every single one of these cats. And for a few of them, I even had romantic love, which I know sounds weird, but like it wasn't even an animal human thing like i don't know their species just didn't have anything to do with it they were just kind of like my fellow occupants on the earth and like we all kind of understood that in the dream you know no god please no 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 i oh okay i don't care like you seem like an interesting person i bet you have so many interesting thoughts and ideas and even real experience of your life why don't you tell me something about that because that sounds way more interesting than all this nonsense that's going on don't care i don't care if someone says oh my god i had such a weird dream last night i'm automatically tuning out or honestly like if i'm friend if i'm like close with them i'll be like i'm gonna stop you right there i don't want to hear it and like is that offensive i'm sorry it's not it's not like you're saying i had this idea and i'm like shutting down your idea it's like your subconscious created this if you are even creative enough to actively come up with some fantastical story tell me about it and i'd be like you know what that's weird and interesting that you sat down and thought about that strange parallel universe but you know what it's inventive i like it and you've got some creativity not, well, last night when I was asleep, my mind weaved this tapestry of a narrative for me. I'll just retell it to you right now, even though I don't remember it. It follows no logic, and you do not care. So is this just me? How cynical am I, right? Is this just me? When someone says, oh my gosh, I had a dream last night, does anybody get excited? Answer me that question. Do you get excited, or are you like, oh god, huh? <laughs> How long is this gonna be? I'm really hoping that this is a sentence and not a 14 minute long story. Maybe that's just me. I dreamed a dream in time gone by.
The men were like plants, except you knew that they weren't actually like growing from the ground, but for some reason they still really depended upon sunlight and water, and like talking to them was good for them, kind of like how it is for plants in real life, but they like couldn't respond to you, but it wasn't like they were choosing not to respond to you, it was like they couldn't, and like we all understood that. Dummy and this vision. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you.